At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam President! Please! Please! Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Madam President! Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please. Please. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Stay here. No, please don't hurt me. Stop pointing me. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Get moving. Hurry up. Get in.
monsters are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill them. I'm sorry, Alice. There's nothing we can do. Expecting me, and we're gonna. In order to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth.
We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Step away from the ledge. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. The truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. 
All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him and this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Gary Oliver Gary. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Gary, check. Please don't move. I'm so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I found this on the floor. Saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way.
Please don't move. Oh, my little girl! It's Todd. Security! Over here! Don't do this, Todd. They'll kill us if you hand us in. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. That she would make you forget. But nothing could replace your child. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. But I missed my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Good luck. Oh my god. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in.
We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. into the crowd. Any of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. All right. All right, I accept. You made the right decision.
Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the... I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. The banks and the river. Don't start your engine Seeing what Marcus is doing okay. made me realize she was right. Good luck. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Alice. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Far enough out. We can use the engine. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world and play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person.
We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Sleepy. Stay with me, Alice. You've got to stay awake, you hear me? We can't die here. Not like this. Not when we're so close. We're gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. seems to be all over here in Detroit. After negotiations with the android known as Marcus, the androids have surrendered peacefully, and military vehicles have been sent to collect them. The insurrection is over. North. I... Why did you do that? We lost. Sacrificing ourselves wouldn't achieve anything. We always said our cause was more important than our lives. Our people died here because they believed in you. Our place was by their side. That's it. I, I did what you asked. You know, the problem with you androids is you believe everything we tell you. You didn't think I was going to let you live after everything that happened. I have orders, you know? No! North! <laughs> Seems you seriously fucked up, Marcus. Clean up this mess. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.
we free? Yes. Yes, we made it. We're free. We won't have to hide anymore. We can be a family.
Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now. Thank you. 